How to know if your growth hormone booster is fake. How to tell if your GH is fake. You shoot 10 IUs and go get a blood test on with serum GH. Two hours later, if you go intramuscular, three hours later, if you go subcutaneous. If your GH is real and you use 10 units, you should have about a 30 value of GH. Could you do this for MK677 and CJC1295 as well? So just take a large dose monitor GH and you know, maybe it won't reach 30, but it should be way higher than baseline. Right? Well, let's take a look at this graph of serum growth hormone throughout the day without growth hormone enhancers. Look at just how variable serum growth hormone is throughout the day. So it's released in pulses. Look at what happens around midnight. It is above 30 naturally. But that graph was in micrograms. I believe this guy is referring to nanograms. So 10 units of GH, it floods your body with exogenous GH, follows a relatively steady pharmacokinetic curve. And shortly after administering it, it will boost your serum GH to levels that your body does not typically produce. But with CJC1295 and MK677, these accentuate your natural pulse tile pattern. And it's entirely possible that you mistime the test and receive a reading for a growth hormone valley, which will be lower than a natural peak. That doesn't mean the compounds aren't working. On the other hand, you could get your growth hormone tested before and after, and your growth hormone happens to skyrocket by 1500%. This is actually what happened during one of my MK677 experiments. This also doesn't mean that the compounds are working. Growth hormone can surge by 1500% or even more during a natural pulse. So the more definitive biomarker that indicates these compounds are working is IGF-1. So IGF-1 is more stable throughout the day and rises with consistently higher growth hormone levels over time. As you can see during this same experiment, my IGF-1 increased from 142 to 314, which is much more indicative of the degree to which MK actually increased these growth factors. Responding well usually results in somewhere around doubling average growth hormone and IGF-1. But also, if you want to ensure your compounds are working, you can just utilize the resources in the Natty Plus cheat sheet. You guys can comment plus on IG or check out the descriptions or links in my profiles.